month episode, it's kind of a big one for Ava. She gets, you know, left in charge of the team. Yeah. Can you preview sort of how she's like finding her place in the team this season and also the dynamics that she's like developing with the other legends, particularly Zari? Sorry, it's Zeva forever. Hashtag Zeva. We love to say Zeva. I love her relationship with Zari, and I, I especially love it in episode four. I think it was so... I mean, you guys wrote it, and I always just, like, we just say the words, and they they do the work. I mean... No. They, oh, my God. Do. You guys make us look so much better than we Which are. Which is funny that we think that, because I'm always like, thank you for writing that, or, you know, thank you for making that happen, because we just... I feel like a lot of the time I just come and try to bring it to life and you've written the, the beautiful dialogue but Zeva's amazing Z uh, Zari and Ava they're yeah. so lovely um, and yeah it was it was it was an interesting like Ava's done this this season I feel like it feels like this and then it feels like this and then it feels like this um, and her kind of perfectionistic um, sort of control freak um, sort of trying to be the boss, but not, you know, it, 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 it definitely plays. And, um, it's been, it's, it, it's funny. I had a, a chat with Brandon as he was kind of departing and, and he was like, we did that scene with the Aloha mm -hmm. and it was like, you know, she was so, so organized and he, he was in the scene. He was like, I feel like Ava's doing a little Ray Palmer. Like mm -hmm. I passed the, the gauntlet to you and I, I didn't realize that I was playing the scene that way, but it just felt like this kind of like, just everything's good and we're going to be good, but in like a super controlled way, you know, um, mm -hmm. and that stuff comes out in ways you don't know that it's going to come out. I never would have thought in season three that Ava would be that way, but she's kind of evolved to be this sort of, fit in personality you know um and w as far as the legend goes i think that's the, her whole arc this episode is just uh, i'm in love with my lady <laughs> you know i want to be with my lady and we're on the ship and the time bureau shut down and as we saw this episode that just aired that's a big thing to have none of that responsibility anymore she doesn't know how to cope with it and then she gets on board with the legends and where the hell do you fit you know and then obviously sarah's a captain a captain a captain she's never going to be like replaced or whatever and, and and I think just the merging of where the hell what is she doing on the show you know we keep talking about like what is she doing there and you'll see what she's doing <laughs> as, as, the, as the season progresses but it was it was hard to kind of be on the ship without yeah. the time bureau. It was I, I think we felt like that. you were a little lost in yeah. the beginning of the season and ha what are we having doing? you find your footing through the news art I mean the news art by the way was hard to write because she didn't have the same voice of the original Zari that we knew and loved and then also the actors had to play like they didn't have this two-year relationship with and Tala. There was, it was, it was like so complicated, like do, we don't know her at all. Okay, and you know so Barad never, intimately. Yeah, Bayrod, <laughs> which everyone calls Barard, which is a street in Vancouver, which is the funniest <laughs> thing on the gag reel that you've ever seen is everyone just calling him. Barard. Um, yeah, and, and you so constantly in the scene, you're like, do we, so we don't know you at all? We don't have any response to you? Um, but she, I, I think, I just think she smashed it. I think she, uh, yeah, Talad. Uh, yeah, I think she just smashed She just, knew Zari. I don't know how everyone feels about New Zari. Yeah, or if you. You will grow to love <laughs> you her. You will grow to love yeah, her. For she, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, <laughs> she's a bit, she's a piece of work, but you'll grow to love her, hopefully. Yeah. And I think the writers were also just inspired by the fact that you and Tala have such a real friendship. Yeah. So we wanted to write to that. I think every time we go up to Vancouver to be on set, we just get so inspired by the dynamics that we already see there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 